Hi guys, what's up? It's Kaylee. Today I wanted to share with you my hair styling routine. So um, I will be using heat on my hair just so that you guys know. I feel like I, I need to like disclaim that. I am going to do another video soon on the products I like to use in the shower and just basically a big like hair care product video. But this video is going to be just about my hair blow drying routine and how I straighten my hair and how I like to wear it after I've done all of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm wearing right now is just this scarf. I think it's from Forever 21 and I like to just kind of tuck my hair in it after I've styled it. This is like my favorite way to wear it for this winter and I'll usually like tuck it behind my ear. But another way I like to wear it is also with my hair extensions which you guys have seen before. I just clip these babies in. These are my Luxie hair extensions. This is just my straightening hair routine. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's been requested a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. So to get started, I first like to use a leave-in conditioner. This is the BioSilk Silk Therapy 17 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. And by the way, I will link all the products that I'm talking about down below so that you guys can check them out if you're interested. But you can get this, I think, on Ulta. I get it at TJ Maxx. I was just there a few days ago, and I did see that they still are selling these for the same price. I got mine for $9.99, which is a pretty good deal. I'm almost out of it, so I got to get a new one. But the little squirt thing on top of it broke, so I've just been... Um, like taking off the top and then attempting to put it in my hand without getting the whole entire bottle on my hand. <laughs> so I use about that much. I rub it between my hands and I work it through the ends first and then I work my way up. I put the cap back on so I don't spill it everywhere. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I had so much coffee today. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just like a big mess of cords down here. I'm going to like cause an electric fire. So this is my GHD straightener. I'm going to go ahead and turn this baby on so it can heat up while I'm blow drying my hair. This is actually a new product that I've recently been trying and I really like it. It's the Argan Magic Nourishing Hair Cream and it's paraben free. It basically eliminates the frizz and makes your hair feel and look super, super soft. It's sort of like a cream, I guess is the best way I would describe it. Looks like that. And... I again run this through the ends and then I work my way up. Now this product is a lot thicker than the one that we first used, so you gotta be kinda careful with this one, you don't wanna use too much of it. But I definitely noticed a difference after I blow dry my hair, how like smooth my hair feels when I use this. And then the last thing that I put in my hair before I start blow drying is the Joyco Joy Whip Firm Hold Design Mousse. This basically just helps to give my hair volume because it is very, very flat and thin. So this really helps to make it like, it gives it a lot of lift. And I just focus this in the roots and really, really massage this in. So next I blow dry my hair and I use my T3 blow dryer that I've had for a while now. This thing is awesome. I love it. I like to have this little nozzle on top. It's just like an attachment. <laughs> it eliminates frizz. It straightens faster and easier. This just directs the air to one specific spot. So. I actually use, um, I turn it all the way on so it's like full out uh, airflow. <laughs> and then there is a low, medium, high temperature setting. I put it all the way to high. I also use a round brush. This is a boar bristle round brush that has like a ton of hair attached in it. I know I need to clean it out, but I love this thing. It is, I believe, from I think Ulta I, I was where I got it from. It's really, really big. I personally like it bigger like this so that it like grabs more hair. Any other type of brush I use, my hair will look like a big frizz static ball. And so this really helps to get rid of the frizz and the static and to really straighten it out. It usually only takes me like 10 minutes to blow dry my hair. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly, probably play some music in the background. Let's get started.
blow dry it now and it's like a rough blow dry like you guys can see that it's not 100% completely straight it could definitely look a little smoother but for the most part I think having a board bristle round brush definitely makes a difference I would feel completely comfortable just going out with my hair like this and not have to go through the additional step of straightening but personally I like to go through that additional step so we're going to use the GHD straightener here and I basically I don't section out or anything I just take big sections of hair and I just run this through. Now my hair is pretty much already straight like I said so I mean this isn't really to straighten the hair it's more like to smooth it out because this has ceramic plates on it and I just really feel that it gets rid of all of the like little pieces of hair that are sticking out every which way and it just makes the hair look more uniform like more the same all over. So I like doing that and I try and stay away from the roots of the hair so I still have some lift and volume there without needing to tease. I'm not a big fan of teasing, guys. So yeah, just take big sections of hair and just run it all the way down. And I pull it straight out. Okay, and then, oh, I forgot. I usually I do my bangs too. Start here and then kind of curl it under a little bit. Not starting too close to the root, but this will help to give it, to give the bangs a little more, um, like, bounce. Okay, so this is how the hair looks after I've straightened it. A lot better. Not as much volume, of course, but I like that my hair looks softer. So, next I'm going to go back in with my, um, my nourishing hair cream from Argan Magic. Just going to take like half the size that I took before when our hair was wet. I'm going to run this only through the ends this time just to smooth them out. Alright, we're going to go in with the Argan Magic High Shine Hairspray now. I'm going to bring it forward to the side and then down. And usually I don't have to curl my hair to do this, it'll just stay with the hairspray. So once it's all dried, then I run my hands through my hair and it usually gets pretty big. And then I shape it one last time with some hairspray. And then that's usually it. I'll just like go through my day. That's, that's the gist of it, guys. But since my hair is like so thin, I usually will wear like a scarf and tuck the ends in or I will use my hair extensions to give it a little bit more length and volume. These are from Lexi Hair. I curled them though, so I'm not gonna put them in today since my hair is straight, but those are really nice. I like these a lot. I'm gonna show you guys what I do with the scarf though, because I feel like this is a really cute thing to do, especially for winter. So exhibit A, here's a nice scarf. So I just bring all my hair forward. I put the Infinity Scarf on my neck, wrap it once, or I mean twist it once, put it around my head so then it's like this and I just like shake both of these sections out so they're big like that and then my hair is like all tucked in so go like that it's almost like an asymmetrical hairstyle since you have your hair tucked in and then you have like your bangs coming out in the front so this is a cool option to do as well, and um, this is actually what I've been liking a lot lately. So yeah, a lot of times I'll like tuck my hair in like that, just on one ear. But yeah, so that's 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 it. That that that. <laughs> So yeah guys, that's basically it for my hair routine that I do like every two to three days and I'll just leave it like this. I won't put any more heat on it or anything like that. I'll just wake up the next morning, brush my hair, either put it in a ponytail or just leave it like that. So I really only use heat on my hair like maybe 
twice a week at most. Or if I am doing my hair curly, maybe like once a week I'll do heat on it. So I actually, I've been liking this routine a lot. I've been doing it for a while now. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below or let me know what your routine is. I love trying new stuff. So let us know what you guys like to do on a daily basis for your hair down in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.